Hey guys, here's how to use snapping for today's Blender Quick Tip. First, you can hit G, then B, select an edge for a text surface, then select an edge for a text surface on another object, and it will snap there. The rest of the snapping features are from the snapping menu, which can be accessed by shift Control tab or just clicking the menu, each of which can temporarily be turned on or off by hitting Control. So, now to increment. It will snap to the measurement values you have set. For me, it's going by meters. Hit absolute grid snap to keep it with the grid. View it from the top or side, and it will increment by the subdivisions you have set in overlays. Vertex will snap to vertices. This is really when snap options come in handy. Closest will snap to whatever vertex is closest. Center and median, practically the same thing, snapping to the center of the selection. Active will snap to whatever was the last selection. The nice thing about these is that you can actually lock it on an axis and snap only to that height. Edge and face are pretty self-explanatory and just snap to their respective name. Volume, on the other hand, will snap to that. Really, this is useful for moving bones to the center of objects. Edge center will snap to the center of an edge. Edge perpendicular tries to snap to create a perpendicular angle. Face project will snap to the face your cursor is over. Face nearest will snap to the closest face. So that's all the tools, but with any of them, you can affect it with more than just movement. There's also a way to enable rotation and scale. There's also a line rotation to target, which could be useful if I had a sphere and wanted to rotate these objects around it. By the way, it's affected by the origin. Also, these do affect the first tool I mentioned at the very beginning. Anyways, thanks for watching, and bye!